Hello there boys and girls, Lucky here and welcome back to another CSGO video. Our aim for today's video is to find out your perfect aspect ratio and resolution for your in-game settings, so I'd say let's get right into it. Let's talk about the resolutions first. Usually for games you want to use the native resolution of your monitor. If you're using a low resolution you'll get a blurry image, since it's trying to fit an unfitting numbers of pixels into the pixel slots that are available. If you use a higher res than available you'll get a sampled down image, which essentially results in the same thing as anti-aliasing to get rid of those annoying edges. Of course this also means that you will need more horsepower and a stronger PC in order to handle it. Then again, it heavily depends on resolution and might still not look as crisp as if you were using the native one, which is the case for most cases. That's why I recommend to always stay with your native resolution if you're happy with your monitor's aspect ratio. A quick example for this would be our typical Full HD monitors. They're 16x9 in aspect ratio and have a resolution of 1920x1080, so using these settings will result in the best looking image. However, if you desire to use a different resolution for any reasons, which we'll also cover in a second by the way, you still want to stick with at least one part of your native resolution. By that I mean, if your native resolution is for example 1920x1080, you want to use either of those numbers, so that's only your horizontal or vertical pixels will be blurred. With this method we get to keep at least half of our usually crisp image and of course for image clarity the higher the better. Now let's talk about the aspect ratio. We're going to mainly cover three of them, which are 16x9, 16x10 and 4x3. 5x4 and 21x9 will behave in the same way and should be clear to everyone after seeing these previous three. But first of all, let's get some of the myths out of the way and compare the aspect ratios after that. Our first myth is that lowering your resolution while keeping the same aspect ratio will increase your zoom or lower your field of view. That statement is false. Your field of view is solely determined by the aspect ratio. As you can see on the screen right now, there's 1440 x 1080 and 800 x 600. They do have the exact same field of view because they're the same aspect ratio, despite the huge difference in pixels. Next up, let's talk about stretched resolutions or aspect ratios. Our myth here is that you will mess up your aim or sensitivity and you will have to change your MYAW values of your mouse to make them fit your movements. This is also false. If you're stretching your resolution, you will move faster in the stretch directions, however you will still covering the same distance on your mouse pad as well as in-game. So changing those values will only make you have to relearn your new sensitivity. If you're completely new to the game however and you haven't gotten used to a sensitivity yet, you can still change it without being really affected by the previous problem. But yes, your aim will feel different. The pros use it's the best myth. Many pros used a certain aspect ratio and resolution for multiple years and have gotten used to that. They basically evolved with their settings making stuff like stretch popular because back in the days you haven't really had the proper choice of making the settings fit. So they just usually rolled with whatever felt comfortable to them and then once again rolled with it. Switching to their settings won't help you because it is personal preference and they are not that good because of their aspect ratio but because of putting multiple thousand hours into the game. Okay, now let's compare the aspect ratios to help you guys find the best one for you. 16x9 is for most players the default resolution and aspect ratio. It offers a wild field of view to help you keep up your situational awareness with your surroundings. However, it's most likely also the highest resolution on your list, making it the most hardware intensive and probably delivers the fewest amount of FPS. 21x9 by, by the way has an even wider field of view but then again needs even more pixels and more horsepower. 4x3 is an old school aspect ratio and is most commonly known with resolutions like 1280 x 1024 or 1024x768. This aspect ratio offers black bars on each side, helping you to focus on the middle of your screen, which seems to be very popular among offers since it closer resembles the scope with the middle of the screen kind of. This can also be partly done by moving in your HUD on higher aspect ratios, but yet that still doesn't really help with the focusing part since you can still see the four sides of the screen obviously. Another plus is of course the increase in FPS by using fewer pixels. My recommended resolution is a custom res by the factor of 1440 x 1080. If you do not know how to set it up, click the first link in the description because it's obviously a custom resolution that you have to set up. Now let's talk about 4x3 stretched. With 4x3 stretch you are again getting the benefit of having more FPS by using a lower number of pixels than your native resolution. However, by stretching the image you will lose the focus benefit of the black bars, yet gaining another ally which is the stretched FOV. By stretching the image the models of the players will appear chubbier and wider which seems to make 
them easier to hit, since there is kind of a wider area to shoot at. However, they will also seem to move faster, now potentially making hitting moving targets harder, but then again, you also appear to be moving faster by doing so as well. After trying out 4x3 stretch, I gotta say that the initial feel of the mouse x-axis moving faster, same with pretty much everything else and the maps looking wider as well, was pretty uncommon and weird. Nonetheless, I got used to it within a couple of hours playing straight and felt really good after that. I felt like my star stepping and my cross replacement improved since everything seemed to have a bigger emphasis on the x-axis when playing. I just felt more kind of aware within my smaller field of view, so to say, if that makes any sense to you guys. But yeah. So despite me usually speaking out against 4x3 stretch, I have to say I can only recommend it now. However, I also had to witness my biggest concern with 4x3 stretch and that it would be missing enemies due to the lower field of view, which again doesn't happen in default situations but can occur late round no matter how good your game sense is. It is also shown in multiple pro matches when they usually kind of crab walk like right next to each other and they cannot see each other, obviously because their field of view is too small. So my last resolution is the one that I'm currently most comfortable with and that would be 16x10 stretched. I know I skipped 16x10 black powers, but in general 16x10 stretched or not is a hybrid and offers both benefits to some degree. For me I get to keep a smaller field of view, making long range headshots easier, but still being high enough so I can still see the sides of my screen better. And on top of that I also get to keep the stretch sense feeling that helps me with my crosser placement and my star stepping. Of course all of that just to some degree. So in the end it really comes down to personal preference. I know, no one wants to hear that. You want me to think for you and tell me what to use, so here's my little guide guidance for you guys. So, if you feel like you're having problems hitting long range targets, try to use stretch 4x3 due to the lower field of view offering a better zoom. If your game is lagging, of course, lower your resolution until the frame rate is good enough and then decide on an aspect ratio afterwards. If you want to focus more on the middle of your screen, which possibly might help you out with your opping, try black bars, but then again, stretch targets feel easier for some to hit. So find out if you're having trouble setting up your crosshair at the enemies or if you have like trouble tra uh, tracking the target. If you only want to use a slider variation of that or a hybrid of us both sides, then try 16x10 stretched or not depending on what you feel you're looking for. If you already are completely happy with your resolution or aspect ratio, please drop a comment down below to help the newcomers to find their perfect settings. I started this out as an experiment since I usually played 16x9 at 1080p and never liked the look of stretched and never had focus issues or anything, so I myself was quite surprised that after this experiment I actually switched to 1728x1080 which is a stretched 16x10 resolution. I may not look that different from 16x9 but it sure does change the game for me. So once again it's all personal preference and if you would leave a like you would definitely make my day since this video was quite a bunch of work to tackle. But I think it's pretty much all for now and I hope I will see you in the next video.